Halloween special. Warning, children, you will need adult supervision. And don't forget to wear safety googles and gloves. First, you're gonna need a, a can of food. You can buy it at your local 99 cent store. You will need a cork remover like this one. This is a little bit more complicated. You can also find one of the simplest ones like this one for example. Remember to use whatever you find around your house because it's supposed to be for saving money. You also will need a can opener. A knife, spray can of your color of choice. Um, I recommend you rust oleum. It's real good on metals. Candle or candles, as many as you need it. Um, as many figures you're gonna do. I used four because I made four. Okay, first you're gonna grab your can. And you're gonna open it but I already opened it but I'm gonna show you just grab it from top and use your can opener and just squeeze it tight putting the wheel in when you hear the pop then twist 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 um, as it goes around then you will just remove the insides and remove the top of it and put it in a container and for the label that I already removed to um, you're gonna grab your knife and you're gonna stick it under the plastic or paper and just twist it then you remove it with your other hand and dispose it away now grab your cork remover and we're gonna start making the mouth for the mouth, we're gonna make just straight lines, pretending to be the teeth and like a skull. So you need to drop in a little hole on the can. Um, uh, for safety, try to do it in a solid surface instead of the air, like I'm doing it right here. And when you drop the little hole, you'll need to put in the tip of the knife in the hole. Just move bend it back and forward, back and forward using the back of the knife as to go forward. Um, we're gonna drill not hold as many teeth as you want. You can add three more. Okay, um, I was confused. You have to make four more to make five. Five teeth to be a little bit normal. Then now that you have the teeth done, you can just uh, make the cheekbones that is on each side of the, the mouth. So you need to drive a hole to introduce the knife in. And that way it won't slip and cut your hand. So then you insert the tip and start going back and forward. But on this, instead of a straight line, if you can, try to make it a little bit curved, you know, to simulate the cheekbone of the facial or a skull. So, as you see here in the video, I already made one. And this start with the next one. Try to push everything, um, like the tipping, the sticking parts of the metal try to put it down because all of those things are real sharp and can get you real real and you cut you real bad okay now you turn it around now you're done you turn it around make a little other bolt and repeat on the next side of and the other side of the face just push back and forth, back and forth. Just kind of twist it a little bit. You'll see it will curve real easy. It's not as hard. Push the tips and the points.
pointing things down if you can. But, um, it's better if you do it like with a knife or some sticks or something. But I'm doing it like fast and whatever I found here. Because that's me. So, next, for the eyes. You just drive a hole on top of the face. Try to make it equal on between of those two bone chicks. Try to make it one on each half of the of the face. That it will be the face and go across on top horizontal and then just make the other a vertical cut. Um, starting to twist the knife a little bit from the tip. You'll see it's gonna go easy. It's, these cans are supposed to be cut. And um, so they're real, real easy to cut through. Um, if you don't want to do it as I doing it, you can also um, get some pliers, that um, metal cutting pliers. It will be a lot of, it will be a lot more easy. Um, don't uh, feel bad if it doesn't get you real symmetric because if it's like a baby, it will look a lot more creepy. You know? So for the other, I just try to do the same thing. Just go around horizontal, then try to kind of cut, twisting it. As you see, I kind of uh, went a little bit further on this one. I'm uh, too close to the mouth. I'm not gonna be able to twist it good down to close the the hole, the eye hole, the eye faucet. So in my case, I'm just like, if you get to this kind of things, just twist it, twist it, and and try to. It's it's better if you just twist it instead of uh, going with a uh, um, being careful not to I mean you can harm yourself if you try it with a knife so try to bend it instead of cutting it with a knife like I did I don't know maybe I like danger so I do it the, the hard way and I I just being real careful cautious as you see I don't put my hand in front of the knife where the knife can just like slip and cut me I twist it, see, it removed, then, um, got removed, it looks like it's finished, it looks awesome, right, awesome, and, um, look, it's almost done, so for the painting, we're on the painting now, we're gonna set up a little, um, like Saturday morning special, so you can just grab your Union Tribune or whatever newspaper you use, and then you just put the can and spray it, try to make it even. If it's not even, then don't worry because um, it's um, it's gonna have like more rusty and, and creepy looking. Then you wait some time to get it dry, about 30 minutes, then you turn it around and and, 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 pay, and get the, the under part of it. And as you see, I forgot this step that it was like the second thing to do. The first thing to do when you remove the top of it, you'll see that it leaves a little real sharp edge on top where the, where the top of it was. So try to um, try to remove it. Um, for that you need some electric pliers. Just put the tip in and and squeeze it real hard trying to push it down inside so it, it just kind of bends towards that side that will um, just leave it um, flat with a with a can that way it won't be able to cut you I have real real bad experiences with these um, edges real sharp edges it cuts fingers off and, and it gets real messy, all blood and stuff, bloody, bloody, bloody mess. So, be careful with this. Don't forget to do it. If you're seeing it before you're doing it, so um, do this at the beginning. So, we're done. You see, the skulls are... I made four figures get creative. 
um, on shapes on uh, different type of faces this one looks like a pumpkin the one I was doing is here the second one can you see it but I made first all the solid creatures they are creepy too just repeat be creative put the candles in and you, you can have fun light it up and, and it's fun as you see here <laughs> Um, you can also just turn it um, towards the wall and it will give you that creepy feeling of some creatures following you and hunting you. Just, you know, it's a simple um, little Halloween um, tool because you can use it as a tool for a haunted house or something, you know. This was Omar Garcia with the Die Halloween Special. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, add, and subscribe to my Google Shadow Twitter or Pixar account. See you next time.